Extensions are used by MediaWiki to extend the available functionality. The software is specifically designed to be extended, and in our blog, we have previously discussed different types of extensions and what we consider to be the best extensions available. But how are the extensions installed? There are essentially four steps to add an extension to your wiki. Downloading the code, adding the load command to your local settings, installing composer dependencies, and running database updates. Those last two steps are only required for some extensions. The simplest case is extensions that are bundled with MediaWiki Core, meaning that we have already downloaded them and have no composer requirements or database updates. All we need to do is enable them. Extensions exist in the extensions directory. Since we haven't downloaded any other extensions yet, the only extensions listed so far are those that are bundled with MediaWiki Core. For example, the Wiki Editor extension, which changes the editing interface. Before enabling Wiki Editor, if we go to the main page and edit it, a very basic interface shows up. While this interface works, it is not the clearest for new users to understand unfamiliar wiki text syntax. To enable the extension, go to your local settings.php file and add WF load extension wiki editor. At that point, if we reload our editing page, a toolbar will appear. Here is that toolbar that shows how to format different wiki text features and has shortcuts for common actions. Furthermore, if we go back to our version information and reload this page, we'll see that the installed extension is now listed. Extensions are slightly more complicated to enable if they are not bundled and need to be downloaded separately. They have composer dependencies or include database changes. The check user extension, for example, meets all three of these conditions. So we'll walk through how to install that. For extensions that are bundled, have no composer dependencies or lack database changes, just skip the corresponding step. The first step is downloading the extension. Going back to our terminal, within the extensions directory, we will want to run git clone https garret wikimedia.org slash r slash media wiki slash extensions slash check user. Before running this command, notice that in our extensions directory, there is no check user folder. But this command creates it as it downloads the needed files. We then, within check user, want to make sure that we are running the correct version of the code. In this case, from the 1.39 release. Now, as before, we need to enable the extension. Extensions generally have a composer.json file that may list requirements. Here, for example, we can see that the check user extension requires a software package from Firebase. To ensure that this gets installed, we will create in our root media wiki directory 
a file composer.local.json with the content shown on screen. This will tell Composer to include the requirements from the check user extension. To install those requirements, we will run docker compose exec media wiki composer update dash dash no dash dev. We can observe that the composer packages, which are in the vendor directory, currently have none from Firebase. But after running this command, a Firebase directory appears. Finally, we will run any database updates needed with docker compose exec media wiki php maintenance slash updates dot php. This tells media wiki to run the update maintenance script, which includes changes to the core database tables and any added by extensions. Since we just created this wiki, the updates should be fairly quick. We can see at the end there are changes for the check user extension with cu underscore changes and cu underscore log. That's it. If we go back to our version information and refresh the page, check user will be listed. For extensions that are not bundled with MediaWiki, there's another way to download them using the extension distributor extension on MediaWiki.org. That extension is specifically designed to export snapshots of extensions as a tar bundle that can be downloaded, from which the files can then be extracted. Note that extension distributor as installed on MediaWiki.org can only be used for extensions that are hosted on garrett.wikimedia.org and not on GitHub or other locations. Additionally, extensions installed via extension distributor are slightly harder to upgrade later. To access the extension distributor, visit MediaWiki.org slash wiki slash special colon extension distributor and choose the extension you want to download. For this demonstration, we will use the Sandbox Link extension. After selecting the version we want to run, MediaWiki 1.39, and hitting Continue, a download page will appear. The file should be downloaded automatically. On a Unix-like operating system, you can use the following command to extract your extension. But on Windows, there should be 7-zip available. Go into our download. We can extract once to undo the .gz archive. And again to get the actual folder. You can see this sandbox link folder has all of the extension files. Now we just have to move it to the correct location. In desktop, under Docker, Media Wiki, Extensions, we just add this new folder. It shows up back in our extensions list over here. And then, by adding a load extension call, the extension should be enabled. If we go back to our main page, on the top, an additional link should appear to the user sandbox. And here it is.